Okay, we have this little tank here, which has a refrigerant from two dead AC units in there. And we're going to transfer it over to our bigger tank, which is our recovery tank, to be disposed. <clears throat> so we have our manifold set, hooked to this tank, high and low. And then it comes down through the yellow hose, over here to our recovery machine. And we have a blue one from here, back to our recovery cylinder. And this is what is dumb. On most tanks, the blue is vapor. See, that's this vapor. Red is high. On this one, it's exactly backwards. There's the blue. If you look at the red, though, really, really carefully, you can see it says vapor. Why is this tank backwards? Anyways, so all we have to do is open both valves on this one. That comes over here to our manifold set. And we can open, I'll try to get one in here. Open both valves on this. There's our low side. Here's our high side. And then it runs over here to our vacuum machine, which in this case, we don't really have to purge out because it gets air in it, it doesn't matter. So we turn it on. Liquid, turn to recover, start, and then that, and come over here and open this, and there we go. Now let's take the refrigerant out of this tank, we'll do this one, and we'll recycle. This is a good example of the laws of thermodynamics. We're emptying this tank through the recovery machine, put it here. Now fill this tank cool and cold because the material is being drawn out, the pressure drops cause it to be cold. But you can see it icing up a little bit, like ages. Yeah, see they're kind of cold and frosty because of the pressure drop. And then we're down to 33 pounds. Now this tank where it's going into and being compressed into, this one's hot. I mean you feel it, it's, it's really warm. Now, if you're in the field and you need to have more storage, you can put this tank in water and it'll transfer faster. 